Hey everybody! So I've gotten a ton of requests for this video. Um, I sometimes I just don't have the spoons like energy to do everything that everybody requests and um, when I do like gear haul videos or what's in Colt's vest or whatever videos I do get a lot of people commenting that they absolutely love them and that they wish I would do a patch video. So I have so many patches, or I should say he has so many patches that we would be here all day. Um, but I would love to show you some of the most important ones. Lay down. And some of the ones that are um, most commonly used by me or Colt. Um, because they're more helpful or they're just our favorites in general. So I'll go over those. I also suggest um, if you guys haven't already gotten one or looked into one. A Velcro collar. Yeah, you, you, we're not working right now. A Velcro collar. Um, this you can put the patches on if you put Velcro on your on your patches, and it's actually really been helpful. Um, sometimes when Colt's laying down or facing a different way or uh, face front uh, like front facing somebody or something like that, they can't see his patches or they're just not looking for his patches. But the collar has seemed to help because everybody's staring at his face, thinks he's so cute, and the collar's closer to his face. So I suggest that if you guys haven't looked into one. <clears throat> I also suggest this type of collar. Um, we have it personally engraved, and this is because it identifies him as a service dog and what service he provides, and then it also has emergency contact information and my allergies. This is just in case, I mean, he's not... In gear, you know, we go to the dog park, we, sometimes he just works without gear on, but this collar is something that can save my life, can save his life, um, just by having this on even when he's not in gear. So, I mean, he's never left my sight, so, I mean, it wouldn't be like he got lost or something, but you never know what's going to happen, and you might want to just prepare for, you know, the worst, because, I mean, he's at least a $10,000 dog. I mean, he has saved my life multiple times and I love him dearly. I'm sure you guys love your service dogs dearly as well. And so it's very important that you take every measure to keep your dog safe and to help him be returned to you or keep him safe in the event of an emergency if you had an emergency at like a store or something. So, sorry I keep going on and on. <laughs> Another thing, not all of these are patches, like this is a banner and this is a leash wrap, but I found them to be extremely helpful. Um, me and Colt as a team right now cannot use a leash. Um, I used to be able to when I first started training him and for I think the first year after he was trained, I can't remember uh, completely, part of my issue. <laughs> um, but the reason I can't use a leash is because I'm numb on my right side. Yes, I can use it. But it's basically useless to me um, for gripping and grabbing and stuff like that. And it's not like it's impossible to do so. But even if I had a leash and I was holding on to it, um, if something were to happen, the leash wouldn't give me any control over my dog. Um, another factor is, is people say, why can't you just hold the leash in your left hand? Well, Colt heels on my right side because of my numbness in my right side. It's not just my hand, it's my leg as well. Which is why most of the time I'm in a wheelchair. Some days are worse than others. Um, and the him needing to be on my right side so that I can brace on him because that's the side I'll fall to. If my drop foot gives me an issue or anything like that gives me an issue, that's where he needs to be to brace me. Um, so I don't have a leash crossing my body. I can't also have a leash um, tethered to me in any way. If I had a cross leash, it could choke me or hurt me during a seizure or a fall or something like that. It also would hinder him from getting help, which he is trained to do. He wouldn't be able to leave me because he would be attached to me. Um, but also the same with goes with my wheelchair. I can't have a wheelchair leash attached to him because he can't get help. He can't retrieve my meds. And he also it can also hurt me in any way if it's wrapped around me. So... We haven't used a leash in a long time, but this was very helpful because it had the stop sign, clearly said big, big letters, do not pet, because some people seem to not be able to read unless it's right there in their face. 
Um, so this I have even used on a traffic lead, which is a really short leash, um, hanging on the side of his vest, like the leash clipped to his vest and this just hanging on him. So I'm not using the leash because the leash is basically inside the leash wrap completely, but this is also a really good thing that people see. So hanging it on him is great. So we've done that before. I've even attached it to my wheelchair before, wheelchair backpack. I've even had it on me before. So it just depends on what works best for you. So this is a banner that's mostly used on his BLD. And I purposely got the one that says, do not distract and do not separate from handler because it clearly says he's a service dog and it doesn't just say do not pet. It says do not distract. So hopefully people can realize that distracting is anything. Excuse me, kissy noises, um, you know, bending down and talking in his face or just staring at him or anything. Hopefully they realize that's what that means. Um, so this one has been really helpful with the color red and the words do not distract. So I really do suggest that if, I mean, unless you and you're okay with people petting your dog and stuff, that the do not distract is what you use because do not pet people will come up and say, oh, I know I'm not supposed to pet you. But it's more than just petting, it's do not distract in, in general. So that's saved my butt a few times. Um, I also really recommend getting a patch if you are willing to give personal information on your service dog's name. If you're not willing to do that, then don't do it. But me personally, I don't care if somebody knows his name because he's trained not to listen to anybody calling his name. Um, so even if they were like, oh, cold, 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 he's not going to listen to them. So I purposely put the name on there. Um, you can see it's a very big patch because the number one question is what's his name. And as you know, it costs us a lot of time and energy to go into a store just for a gallon of milk. It takes us hours sometimes just to get a gallon of milk because we have a service dog. And it's not like it's bad that people ask questions, but sometimes it can hinder our daily lives. And I don't think they completely understand that every single time we go into a store that someone is gonna ask the same question that they do 30 times before them. And it's really hard for us to learn, live our lives, especially if we're having a horrible day we're not feeling good, we have a headache, whatever it is, sometimes you just don't want to be bothered. Even by family and friends, you just want to stay in a dark room. But God forbid you ran out of milk and you need to go get milk. Or his food, he's on a raw diet and I have to go to the store all the time to get his raw food. Um, I mean, it's not like Garrett can't do it or somebody else can't do it. But a lot of the times I have to go to the store and get his food, even if I'm not feeling good because he needs to eat. And so, being stopped and being asked the simplest question of what his name is, if that could be avoided by having a patch, I'm going to do that. So you can see it's a very big patch and I hoped that the silhouette would draw attention to it, which it has. So that has worked out really good. So there we go. Um, another one is a lot of patches that say do not pet and where's the other one? Um, working dog, do not pet. I have a few of them. Here's, where's that other one? This one says assistance dog. So a lot of people don't know necessarily what service dog means. Sometimes they know what working dog means and not service dog. Sometimes they know what assistance dog means and not service dog or working dog. So I've tried to have patches that say different things. Um, as you can see, there's other ones that say service dog, some say working dog, some say assistance dog. Of course, he's not a therapy dog and not an emotional support animal, so I'm not gonna put that on there um, to help, to you know, keep help spreading lies because for some reason, everybody thinks that those are the same things. But as an assistance dog, a working dog, and a service dog all can fall into the same category and he could be called all of those. And it just helps because some people would be like, service dog, what's that? Well, you know, there's an assistance dog patch on there and they go, oh, I know what that is. That's the type of dog that helps with a wheelchair. Not necessarily just wheelchairs, but it helps them understand a little better. It brings that light bulb. Um, so I really do enjoy having patches that say different worded things as long as they're accurate. Um, oh, by the way, all these green 
patches are vinyl which are easy to clean I've had them for so long and they're not falling apart they're not dirty because you can just wipe them right off and they're amazing they've drawn so much attention to the patches because of the coloring and this even the sparkles like I'm not a girly girl but I absolutely love this vinyl and I got them custom by Christine's custom patches and she is absolutely amazing so if you ever wanted good quality cheap patches there you go um, here's another one that's absolutely very important um, not all disabilities are visible especially if you have um, a service dog and you're not in a wheelchair or um, you know it's not visible it's really important like I have a wheelchair and some days I'm not in it and so it's very important for me to help spread this awareness us as a community if you're willing to share that information or anything to help people understand better so we have less of an issue when we go places or whatever then why not get a patch you know for a couple bucks or whatever that explains that not all disabilities are visible I have traumatic brain injury on here because I have a traumatic brain injury um, because you know I don't mind sharing my medical information obviously I've shared it with you guys many times um, personally I made it a different color than the not all disabilities are visible because I didn't want it the center of attention I wanted the not all disabilities part um, but I don't mind sharing that information so um, this is another custom patch so honestly this has helped a lot because a lot of people will come up and say oh are you training that dog for someone else that's always the big assumption and you know it I mean that's a great thing I would love to do that but with my disability even with my training experience with my disability I don't have the time or the energy to do anything besides live my life and train him even sometimes I don't have the energy to do that so I wish I could I would love to do that for somebody um, veterans are really close to my heart my whole family's military I would love to do that but sometimes you just got to think of yourself first as um, selfish as that sounds you know um, and not to mention that I will have to train his successor at some point um, not super soon but soon and so there's a lot of stuff that goes into having a service dog and I can't personally train other dogs for other people so I kind of got off on a tangent <laughs> um, here's another really helpful patch um, do not separate service dog from handler I think this said yeah on the banner it says that I have a bunch of patches that say this um, personally this one's my favorite I don't know why it's so plain Jane but the black with the white contrast for some reason it's just people see it and there's been many situations where I've actually had medical emergencies in King Supers um, it's a grocery store um, outside on walks and in the park um, different things like that um, sometimes the paramedics are called and, and by the time they get there I'm still unconscious or still having an issue or whatever it is and the people that are there before the paramedics know not to separate my, my service dog from me in any way you know because someone even if it's harmless even if they think oh um I'm gonna take this dog to the back room keep him safe till the paramedics get there because someone might pet him or he might get scared of the paramedics or something like that maybe if it's a harmless thought and people take the dog away not knowing that the dog is trained to deal with that and is trained to be there when those situations happen it could possibly you know be disastrous I mean first of all it could cause stress to him to me waking up without my service dog there I would freak out honestly I would be so scared that he was taken or something happened or he got hurt or something and that that would just be too much plus he's trained to do his job and they could hinder his training thinking that he could just go in the other room or something when there's an emergency but you know he's trained to be there and trained to do specific something so this is just a great one to have just in case you know even if it's a good thought that someone has in their head they'll realize that it's not okay to separate service dog from a handler even if something's going on um oh that's funny this is another one 
Um, I didn't even know I put them in there twice, but here's another one. Um, and then here's what I was talking about earlier. So this one says no eye contact, touch, or talk. And that's really helpful because a lot of people will go, they'll, they'll read it. I'll see them mouthing it as they're reading it and they'll go, I thought you weren't just supposed to touch them. They're like, I'm really glad that I became aware of that because I've talked to them before and I'm very sorry that I've distracted the service dog before. And some people really just don't know. Some people honestly could care less. And you all know that some people are really set in their ways and they're, and they're not necessarily the nicest person, but there are some people that really just don't know. And this could help a ton by not just having one that says do not pet which I think do not pet ones are great. I have them, I have tons of them. But it's always good to have others that say it in other ways of exactly what you don't want them to do, not just do not pet. And this one is another, holy crap, I'm doubling up on some patches. Um, I like this one because it has the orange lettering, by the way, it's really drawn attention to it by saying no, and then people look under that. This one says do not distract and then no talk, no touch, no eye contact. So like I said, patches that say the same thing but in different ways is really, really helpful. And then here's another one. And like I had said earlier, it's really up to you if you want to have patches with your personal information on them. Um, like mine say traumatic brain injury, seizure alert, and all the things that he does for me because I don't mind sharing that information because I kind of want people to see this, the seizure alert patch, even though it's small, it's bright in big letters, they're able to associate the fact that I'm not always in a wheelchair. I'm not always using crutches. I'm not always in leg braces or anything like that. And they, and they don't physically see something, but they know that I need the service dog because of something important. There are a lot of important things that service dogs are needed for and you can't see it at all. And I know most of you know that, but some people do not. And so it's really important that I put this on here because there has been many people that have come up to me and have said, oh, I thought you were training that dog for someone else. And I've always assumed that when I see someone with a dog that looks perfectly fine. And now I realize that you could have something, seizures, diabetes, something sim something that you simply cannot see at all. I mean, I shouldn't say at all because I mean, I, there are times where you can see that stuff very clearly, but I'm talking about someone just seeing someone walk in with the dog, they're not gonna go, oh, that person's totally disabled and needs that dog. They, they'll have no idea. And so I think that as a community, it's good for us to spread that awareness and not you know, hide our disabilities and hide stuff like that. If if you're willing to open up to people and it doesn't upset you or trigger you, I think you should because it really does help people. Some people are really just not aware. So that's that one. <laughs> and then I have a ton of these. So the emergency meds and info inside is really important if you have emergency meds and info inside your dog's vest, pockets, backpack, on your wheelchair, your purse, anything like that. You can even put a, a patch, excuse me, <laughs> you can even put a patch on your purse, whatever. Um, it's really important. There have been times where I've been in a life and death situation caused completely unexpectedly, um, I don't, uh, okay, an example. So I don't know if you noticed my chin. <laughs> But I actually have my chin glued shut with, um, can't remember what they're called, Steri strips or whatever. Um, because I was, I needed like two or three stitches. I was hoping to not get stitches because um, they, I wanted it to have less scarring. And they said that where the, the actual stitch stuff goes in, those two holes, when they tie it shut, those can scar too. So instead of just a line, you have a line with a bunch of dots. But anywho, um, this happened because a video on my news feed on Facebook um, played automatically as I was scrolling and it was like a seizure, like a lights flashing seizure video. Like no video content of any kind except for flashing lights. Um, 
And honestly, I thought that my friends would know better because all my friends are from the service dog community or my family or close friends. Um, and so honestly, I thought that they would know better than to share something like that, which really had no um, meaning to share, I would think. And especially without a seizure warning on the video. And I had a seizure. Um, I fell even just off the couch into the coffee table, I'm guessing, because that was the only hard thing. Um, and Colt went and got help. And he has a met, I think it's called a med alert button. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Um, but he actually knocks over this little thing and it calls a dispatch um, company who actually has all of my personal information and all of his personal information. And what his barking means when the phone answers and stuff like that because it's attached to a landline. Um, and they, if they don't get a response from me or they hear barking from him, they know to have the paramedics come and they have all the information of that my back door is always unlocked that there's a hide key in this certain place and all this information is all this personal information is on there um but anywho i don't know why i just got off on this whole tangent i'm so sorry um but he literally will call them get help he also is trained to go get help so if i was in the middle of king supers and i looked through that and then it set me into a seizure this is on his vest you know if i'm outside even if I'm in here and he goes get gets help like from a physical person because he's also trained to do that. It just depends on the situation. Um, they can come in and they'd be like emergency meds and info inside and open it up. I mean, majority of the time they're going to know me or they're going to be trained med paramedics. But it definitely can come in handy because I have an actual, um, what is it called? A walkthrough on what to do during a seizure. You know, never put anything in someone's mouth when they're having a seizure. You cannot physically swallow your tongue. So don't ever do that. They could break their teeth or choke or whatever. Um, and turn them on their side and all the other information that they're not going to come around completely when their eyes open. They're not all the way there yet. Their brain is still rebooting. Stuff like that. And then there's other information on a step-by-step -step how to give my emergency medication if the seizure is lasting more than five minutes. I actually have, even have a stopwatch in his vest pocket for them to be able to time my seizure if that is necessary. Um, so this is really helpful. Cause I mean, if, if nobody went into his vest right away when I started having a seizure, they came over and they're like, what do we do, what do we do? And they're looking through my purse first or whatever it is. Um, and the real good information that they need is in his vest and they don't know because there's no patch, it's going to waste time for that emergency. So I'm really sorry I'm rambling. <laughs> I haven't talked to you guys in a while, so you're going to get an earful. Um, this is another really important patch. Allergic to, I'm allergic to Keppra, but allergic to something. If you're allergic to something that is seriously life-threatening, then you should probably have it on your dog or when it says emergency information inside, you should have it in there um, if you're willing to show that private information. For one, I this is an emergency medication that they could give me for a seizure and I'm allergic to it. It causes me to have worse seizures. I actually had a mini coma last year, year two years not sure how long ago it was when I found out I was allergic to it because they gave it to me for a seizure um, it's really important that you post those types of things on medical bracelets or say I have my medical bracelet my medical necklace that I don't wear all the time because I have the bracelet um, and on my dog and on his his collar says it right here um, and just that kind of medicine that they could give you in, in circumstances that are your disability, um, it, it could really save your life or, you know, keep you from developing more issues. So I thought that that was a very important one to share. These ones are very simple. This is